Okay, guys, uh, today we're going to be learning about how to stroke a selection and the gradient tool. This first lesson is on starts on page 26 and runs on to page 27 in your book. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up parade.jpg from your CD files. So you're going to open up Photoshop. And then you're going to go File. Let me check. Hold on. You're going to go File, Open. Now it was giving me some trouble earlier with this. I don't know why. Oh. All right, file open, and you're going to go to your uh, your documents. First six weeks, unit one, part two, Photoshop, and you're going to open up a file called Parade. Parade.jpg, and click open. And it sh you should see these folks sitting on a car in a parade. Okay. So we're going to use this file. If you look on page 27, you, you can see the, the, there's a selection around the heads on these folks here. We're going to learn how to add a stroke using some of the selection tools. All right. We're going to use one of the marquee selection tools to select the head of the first person. So press M, as in man, on your keyboard. Now, M selects the marquee tool right up there. It's the second tool from the top. Now, if you press and hold, you got the rectangular marquee tool, the elliptical, which is the circle, single row marquee tool, or single column. So just, I don't care which one you choose, choose rectangular or elliptical, but uh, watch me as I uh, do it. I'm going to click and drag just like I did with the shapes tool earlier. I'm going to click and drag. And the reason why it's called a marquee is, you know like a marquee sign where the words kind of uh, march across the sign, like the digital signs? Well, that's kind of what the selection does. They look like little ants marching around and around. So it's called the marquee tool. Now, if you look... All right, we're going to go to the menu bar at the top. And we're going to go edit, stroke, edit, stroke at the top. And we get several options. For the width, we're going to change that to 6, right up here. 6px. Px stands for what class? Pixel. That's correct. Yay. All right, we are going to uh, choose for the color blue. Now, when you choose the color, you got your rainbow of colors along this bar here. Now you slide it in the blue area and then you got a wide variety of types of blue you can choose. Now you can choose the variation of blue that you want. Click OK. And we are going to make this stroke on the outside. What that means is for the location you can choose to have a, a line going on the inside, middle, or outside of this marquee line on the uh, selection. Well, we're going to choose outside for this first one. Next is opacity. Does anybody know what opacity means? How um, opacity is how see-through you want it. Like 100% it's 100% solid. But if you put it at 50% 
it's partially see-through like you can see through that stroke line so it's really good to know what opacity is and what it means so we're gonna leave that at hundred percent okay so you just click OK after you got those settings of six blue outside and look at what it does it did exactly what we told it it added a stroke a blue stroke six pixels wide on the outside of that selection now some of you were having trouble um, with a, a stroke getting the edit stroke now if you create like a shape and you don't have a stroke like if you have something extra in the layers panel and it's selected you're not going to be able to have that especially if you don't have the uh, stroke selection done see it won't do it on a, a shape so what you got to do is select the background and now edit stroke shows up but on shapes it will not work I want to get rid of that and if you ever want to get rid of a, uh, a, a, a selection you can go select deselect and it gets rid of it now we're going to do the man for the next stroke we're going to select around the head of the man now I'm going to choose the rectangular marquee this time and drag and click and I got the head of this man in the middle now we're going to go edit stroke leave width at six but we're going to change the color to red change the color to red and this time we're going to choose center so for location center has everybody got that so six red center click OK and now look we have the marquee with it in the, the marquee is in the center of the stroke and it's red and it's six pixels wide alright now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go outside of the directions a little bit and um, just so you know this uh, stroke to a selection works with other selection tools like the lasso tool press L press L now watch watch what I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw around this lady's bonnet her her hat and then I'm gonna release and there you go you see I got a selection around her hat just like it's marquee but I use the lasso tool this time now I'm going to go edit stroke I'm gonna choose inside and I'm gonna choose the color white it, white is in the very top corner the furthest corner is pure white and the furthest corner down is pure black I'm gonna click OK and then click OK again now check it out I added a stroke on the inside of the marquee six pixels wide white now you can add use this to add artistic effects to uh, people or uh, items in the image to to kind of exaggerate and show them in the graphic you're working on uh, very neat trick and tool to use okay we have finished this part of the assignment so we're going to save it so go to save the graphic as file save as and we're going to keep it as a JPEG format we're going to go in our 
period lesson one folder and we're going to call this edited parade edited parade in our list lesson one folder that's in our first six weeks folder edited parade it's it's spelt out on page 27 at the top right here folks edited parade dot jpeg We save it in our Lesson 1 folder where we've been saving everything else. So Edited Parade, it's in your Lesson 1 folder. If you don't see it, you might click on the little triangle. Be under Recent Places. Click Save. And then Quality, um, just click OK. You don't have to mess with that. And that is it.